welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here hi my name is Jess and I love doing DIY making clothes in a seemly but pretty way I'm sure you all know that we're going to make the meal mesh dress in this video and because this is a dress that a lot of you asked for so I won't take too long for the intro I just want to share some small things before we start Firstly, I use the stretchy fabric for this DIY because I don't want to use the zipper. It means this tutorial will work the best with the stretchy fabric. But if you want to use the other fabric, you still can do it. But you need to add the zipper as one side of the dress under the armpit. And you might need to fit the back of the dress a little bit to make it fit to your body. So I highly recommend you to use the stretchy fabric if you want to have a similar look as me and secondly on the measurement in this tutorial are based on my body size however at each step where I share my measurements I also share the way I got them so you can apply it to your body size and let's start making this dress the first DIY is the sleeveless Mumet midi dress I used 2 meters of the stretchy fabric in the beautiful flower printing for this DIY to make the bust area pattern, I draw a rectangle with 19cm length, which is the width that covers my bread, and 33cm width, which is one and a half times a quarter of my bust size. I draw another width line at 3cm under the top line. Then from this line, I mark down at 6cm on the width line. I also mark at 6cm on this horizontal line. So after connecting two marks together, I will have the underambic line of the dress. and you will have the bust area patterns after cutting. To make the main body pattern of the dress, I fold the paper in half foot. Then I use the bust area pattern to match the end of it on the folding line. So I can draw a straight line from that mark later. From the edge of the folding line, I mark up at 20 and a half centimeters, which is a quarter of my bust size. On the straight line, I mark up at 17 and a half centimeters, which is a quarter of my under bust size. Then connecting two marks together. From the straight line, I draw another straight line at 14 cm under it. It's the width from the under butt to the belly button. On this line, I mark up at 16 cm, which is a quarter of my waist size. Then connecting this mark to the mask on the first straight line. From the second straight line, I draw the third one at 20 cm under it. It's the width from the belly button to the biggest part of my butt. On this line, I mark up at 23 cm, which is a quarter of my hip side. Then connecting this mark to the mask on the third straight line. From the third straight line, I draw another straight line at 50 cm under it. It's the width from my hip to over my knee. So the total length from the top to this line will be the length of the dress that I want.
From this line, I mark up at 28 cm, which is a quarter of my hip side blood 5 cm. Then connecting this mark to the mark on the third straight line. I'm drawing a curved line based on the lines created from these marks to create the side line of the dress. After cutting, you will have the body pattern of the dress. I apply the bust area pattern to the top of the body pattern to draw the new line at the side of the bust area pattern. After that, I add 1 cm extra at the end of the bust area pattern for the seam allowance because we will connect this part to the top of the body pattern later. Apply the body pattern to the fabric and draw along. On the first straight line, which is the underburst line, I draw a straight line at 1cm under it for seam allowance. Then fold the pattern at that line to create the front pattern of the dress. After cutting, you will have the front and the back part of the dress. After having two parts of the bust area pattern, I connect them together at one side around 10 cm, so the rest of it will be the open area of the bust. At the top of the bust area part, I draw a horizontal line at 3 cm under, then folding the top of the fabric to this line and so to create the fabric hole. I cut a long rectangle with 3.5 cm width and around 50 cm length. I fold two sides of the length line inside first, then fold it again and sew to keep them together to create a tie. After sewing, I cut it in half to have two ties, so I can put them into two fabric holes at the top of the bust area part. Sew one end of the tie to the under ambic line to keep it not moving. At the end of the bust area part, I'm making a loose seam first, so I can create the gathering fabric later. Make sure the final width of this part will be 35cm, which is a half of my underbust side. 
so I can connect it to the top of the front body part later. Make sure you connect them equally at two sides. And you will have the front part of the dress after sewing. Now I'm connecting the front and the back of the dress together at the side lines, then sewing. To finish the end of the dress, I fold the end fabric inside two times and sew. I cut a long rectangle with 4cm width and around 100cm length. I connect the middle of this rectangle to the middle of the back dress foot. Then Top of the back, I mark at 7 cm inside from two ends. They will be the position of the ties from the front. Make sure the length of the tie from the front to these marks will be long enough to hold the dress when wearing. And you will finish this DIY after sewing. The second DIY is the Burpsley Mumet dress. I use 2.5 meters of stretchy fabric in the floral printing for this DIY. To make the front body part of the dress, I use the current body pattern, but I fold the end of the pattern to make it shorter as I want the length of the dress above my knee. I fold the top of the body pattern at the under bust line too. Then after drawing along, you will have the front body part of the dress. Using the same way I did with the sleeveless midi dress to make the front part of this dress. To make the back part of this dress, I use the bust area pattern to apply to the top of the body pattern at the under bust line, then drawing along. After cutting, I draw a horizontal line at 3 cm under the top of the back body part. Then I fold the end fabric to this line and so to create a fabric hole there. I use one centimeter width of the elastic band with around 30 centimeter length to go through the fabric hole. Don't forget to sew two ends of the elastic band to two ends of the fabric hole to keep them stay there. Now, I'm connecting the front and the back of the dress together at two sides, then sewing. After that, I finish the end of the dress by folding the end fabric inside two times and sew.
To make the bulb sleeve for this dress, I cut a rectangle with 30cm length which is the length of the sleeve that I want and 60cm width which is 2 times the width of the sleeve. I fold the rectangle in half on the width line first. Then from the end of the folding, I mark at the middle. I use the bust area pattern to copy the underarm big line for the sleeve part. I draw a curved line from the underarm big line to the top of the sleeve to create a shoulder line for the sleeve. After cutting, I connect two under sleeve lines together. On the shoulder line, I draw a line at 3cm inside it first, then folding the end of the shoulder into this line to create a graphic hole. To the top of the sleeve at the shoulder, I use the elastic band with 1cm width and around 28cm length to go through the fabric hole. Then sew two ends of the elastic band to two ends of the fabric hole. Make sure the length of this part in the end will be 13cm which is the width from the shoulder to upper the breast. The last step is connecting the sleeves to the dress. And we finished this DIY. Here are my final result. Each dress will give you a different look, but they are both pretty and sexy. So I hope you will try them out. See you next week.